Hello everyone, this is Lamed Sane of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video, we're gonna have a look at how to define, create, and use models. So up until now, we've been um, using strings as models, and in an Ember application, that's not how you regularly do it. So let me show you what I mean. So inside of our app um, .js here, in the, we have an app .index root, and inside the model hook, we are returning a string of an array of strings. So what do we want to do in this tutorial? We want to return something that's really tangible, something that you can use like a person or either a bunch of cars. So, but in this video, we're going to deal with person. So, but before we can actually create models and, and deal with them, we have to use Ember data. And Ember data doesn't come with Ember app kit by default, so you have to download it from the Ember.js website. So head over to emberjs.com and click on the bills um, link at the top corner. And just select any one of these but in this video we're going to go with beta and um, scroll down to the section where it says ember data builds and get one of these and download them so i just got this one ember data min.js so i have included that in our project folder so if you see here in the lips ember data.js and then i have included it right after jquery handlebars and ember um, so after ember i just included ember data so now we can um, create models so let's create our first model, um, which is app.person. equals to ds.model.extend. So that's how you create a model. You just um, name your model on the namespace, which is app, and then you say ds.model.extend. So that's what's that saying. ds is a namespace available in Ember data. So it's only available when you've included that script that we've got from the Ember website. And then model is the name um, is the the secondary namespace that you have to extend when you want to create a model. So there's other stuff inside of DS, but if you want to create a model, you have to extend the model. And then you pass it a hash in JavaScript or an object, whichever you want to call it. And inside that, you pass them the properties that you want to create for that person. So in this case, we'll create a first name, last name, and an age for that person. So we'll say first name. Let's say John. And then last name, oh sorry, we don't have to pass the values here, we'll do that later. So the key is the name of your um, model property and the value is you say ds.attr stands for attribute. And then the next property is last name, so we'll do ds.attr. And by default, it um, defaults to a string, so but you can pass in a um, string in here. Or you can pass in date and I think those are the two types of um, stuff you can pass in I think there's a third one but um, I'll show you quickly on the Ember website where you can get more information as to the types of um, properties you can create for a model and then we have an age yes dot attribute as well okay so now we have a person uh, model with first name last name and an age so how do we create um, people all right so there's one way we can do it. We can just say var um, new person equal to this dot store dot create. But we'll not go that route in this video. We'll um, use something called fixtures. So let's just try to um, use our store and query all the people in there. And I just want to show you something quickly. So normally, when you want to get all the people, you've created a person model, and now let's get all the people in that person model. So we'll just say this dot store dot find. So we we're finding all the people and then returning it. And so the, what that will do is it go in our store, find every person, return it. So now let's go in our home page and just um, see what we have. So inside here, when we refresh, let's see what happens. Okay, let's, we have an error, so let's see. It says error while um, loading routes, undefined. So if we look in um, inside of our network tabs, we'll see that um, our script has tried to call to the server side using the forward slash people. Um, okay, so there is no, um, we haven't defined a route for people, but it just went ahead and actually just called that. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is um, we, there is no endpoint of people so this will fail either way it says status 200 but it should fail 
Okay, so how do we get past that when we don't have a server-side um, endpoint to call? So we use something called fixtures in Ember. So we'll quickly touch on that here and in another video we'll see how to actually use fixtures. So if you want to use fixtures, you just um, change your um, your model adapter to use fixtures. So we'll say app dot person adapter equals to um, let's say ds dot fixture adapter dot extend. And you just pass in an empty hash. So what that's saying is anytime we want to query a person, just go to the fixtures instead of trying to call the server side. But we just don't stop there. Um, we have to create fixtures actually for this person. So we've told you to use the fixture adapter, now we have to create um, people fixtures. So how we do that is app dot person dot fixtures. So now that should be an array. So what it's got going to do is it's going to pretend like it's the server side. So we have to create an array. Um, of people hashes so we just say first name now we can give it value of John and then last name say Sina and then an age let's say 12 let's create one more person just copy this we will have two people inside of our store and first name is um, say Joan Kelly and Let's say age of 26. Let's change this to something more mature because I think John Cena is a bit older. Uh, 12. <laughs> All right, so now we have these people in our store. Now, this query here, return this dot find our store, will not go to the server. Instead, we've told it to use person adapter of the fixture type. Now it's going to use this fixture here to show us person. Okay, let's go back in our browser and refresh that. So now I've refreshed this. Okay, so what happened now? Just cannot set property fixtures of undefined. That's because we have to move the uh, fixtures right below the person. So let me just move this down. Cut it. We have to define the people first. Um, so ordering is very important. Um, in another video, we'll do how to organize our project properly. But right now, let's just stick everything in one file. So back in our browser here, we refresh. Okay, it says the ID property must be defined on a number or string for fixtures. Okay, that's good. We're getting somewhere. So every fixture must have an ID since we're trying to mimic what's coming in from the server. So we have to give IDs to these fixtures. So we just use IDs of um, incrementing ones. So one or two. Go back in the browser. Refresh. Okay, now we're we're getting somewhere. It's actually looping through our people, but as you can see, it's actually showing us the um the data types themselves instead of the attributes inside there. So let's go ahead and print out the first and last name and the age. So this is where it's looping through the model. So all that we're saying is print the item, but item is not a string or a, a primitive data type. It's actually a, um, an object. So we can't print that object. So we must say item dot something, get the properties of that object. So we'll say item dot first name, and then do a dash and then you can do item dot last name is of age then you can do here item dot age so now when we look we're gonna see for example John's um, let's start this first name wrong so we're gonna have to see John Cena is of age and the age of John Cena is 27 so we should see that on our browser let's go back and refresh Okay, so we say John Cena is of age 27, John Kelly is of age 26. So let's look in our Ember um, inspector here and see what we have. So let's go to the data um, tab here. So as you can see, model type, person, and number of records too. So this is our store here. If you want to see what's inside your store, just come to Ember inspector and check the store. So we have um, John Cena, and then we have John Kelly, and all the properties that you've defined are all here. Okay. So that's it guys for this tutorial video, um, it gone on a, went on a bit longer than I expected but that's fine as, as long as we um, understood what was happening. So in the next tutorial video we're going to have a look at fixtures actually and how to define fixtures for different models and all that stuff. Okay, So that's it guys, thanks for watching and if this was helpful please um, subscribe and share and like the videos. So 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.